What's up guys, welcome to a new YouTube video, Iba Jiao here from uh, La Romagne. Uh, first of all, I would like to wish you a happy new year, a uh, lot of success for all the projects that you have, uh, health and uh, peace of course, uh, because uh, we are living in a crazy world right now. Uh, I was uh, just uh, looking some football, stretching and uh, doing my own stuff and uh, just realized that it's been a long time since I make a video or a vlog. So yes, I just decided to grab the camera and then make a video and then to give you some advice. As you can see, I'm wearing a cool shirt from uh, Ping Pong Paris. Uh, they have launched uh, their new collection uh, earlier this year and uh, please go and check it out on their website. I will put the link in the descriptions, but yes, go and check it out uh, on their website and uh, I will also put the promotional code uh, on the description. Enough said, let's jump to the topic of this video and this video is about the six mistakes to avoid during uh, table tennis uh, practice. Normally I tr always try to be a little positive during my uh, videos, but this time it will be a little bit negative, but I will try to be as positive as possible. So if you're a little bit depressed during this video, hang in there and take it in a positive way. Mistake number one, do not skip warm up. Warm up is the best way to listen and to feel your body, to know where your body is tight, to know where I have to put some extra attention on my warm up. The goal is to come to the first first moment of the practice and be confident about your body. And don't think that ah okay I should have warm warm up better my hip or my knees or my shoulder etc. Then you will lose maybe 20 minutes out of the practice. And 20 minutes it's a lot when you are practicing uh, two hours uh, a day or two hours per practice. So it's a lot 20 minutes. So you can gain a lot of time by focusing on your warm up and being really in awe with your body. You know? That's the goal. Physical warm up, it's very important. It's a good way to prepare and then to condition your practice. And then after that, there is the warm up on the table. And this is a very important part because many of the players come and then just close their eyes and then make practice and then uh, forehand, forehand or backhand, backhand and then, and then that's it, they're ready. No, try to Try to feel the ball, try to feel and to center the ball in your racket and then to feel the contact and then to put different curves and then to change different line in the ground to be ready to say, okay, now I'm finally ready. I have all, all, I feel the environment. Everything is there for me to come and practice. I'm warmed up. That's the goal is to warm up, you know? So don't neglect that. Be focused on the physical and the end on the table during during the warm up mistake number 2 stop replaying the ball right after a mistake i will give you an example if you make backhand middle backhand forehand and you start the exercise and you make a mistake on the middle side don't start directly on the middle side right away restart the exercise maybe the mistake is not the middle but maybe the mistake is the connection between the backhand and in the middle if you make forehand middle forehand backhand you make a mistake in the middle side or in the backhand side, don't start there, start over. Again, the mistake is the connection. If you make service and then first ball forehand and after middle, and then you make a mistake on the middle side, don't start the ball directly on the middle, start over. I always start my exercises over and sometimes players can be annoyed about this, but because the mistake is not from the middle is maybe from the connection because if you start directly on the middle side after the mistake and then finally you go through the exercise that means that the connection before was not right so work on your connections people think that finally you are practicing good but finally not you are not really practicing good you are just trying to make yourself feeling good but you are not practicing good so be focused be aware on that always start your exercises over Mistake number three, do not neglect practicing with players that have lower level than you. Practicing with players that have better level than you, it's, it's fun. It's just like you feel that you're gonna improve, uh, you, you, the feeling is great, the, the ball is coming great on your racket, etc. But it's actually the opponent that's giving you a lot of freedom, a lot of quality on, on the ball and you're actually using that. You are, you are actually also defending yourself more than you are practicing. You are just trying not to get killed. So this is very natural. But when you are practicing with players that are lower level than you, 
this is the time where you have to kill the opponent that you have to put pressure in the opponent and right now the players the young players that are coming actually have actually trouble doing that because they are used to practice with players that have better level than them and they used to rhythm etc but actually when you give them a fake rhythm they have trouble playing this is the actually the best way to put your game in place to say okay now i will work on my service and my second ball i want the second ball to be here i want the third ball to be there i want i want that i will serve a no spin i want to be sure that i will get a higher ball you know so it's the time that you put pressure it's the time that you work on your strong side what you have worked or learned before is will actually be be efficient when you practice against the player that have lower level than you it's very important to not neglect that yes it's fun and of course you will improve practicing with a better player but practicing with a lower player it's also very 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 important and will help you a lot during your improvement so don't neglect that. mistake number four do not joke around with easy balls easy balls are very important it's just like it's actually an achievement you say oh yeah i get the easy ball now it's time to kill it's time to finish you know and if you joke around with easy balls there's a lot of chance that you don't you will not know what to do when you have an easy ball when you play a match and it will be unconscious but you might made a lot of mistakes when when you will be in match when you will be in a high pressure situation so learn how to play this ball very seriously this is so very important and i'm not speaking about high ball it's just a push that is not 100 percent or it's just yes a ball that you are sure to win but finally you joke around and then you are not 100 percent there you know so i'm not saying okay you have to kill every ball but you have to play them seriously you know even if it's a chop lock even if a drop shot play it seriously and you have a higher chance to succeed when you will be in a high pressure situation mistake number five you are not practicing your passive game enough. It's a very important to practice your passive game for two reasons. First, for tactical reason. Second, for emotional reason. The tactical reason is that sometimes when you attack all the time, when you flick all the time, when you when you dictate the game all the time, maybe the opponent will get used to that and then use that for himself. And it's important to have a plan B. There's many options sometimes to actually serve half long and then to wait in the passive game. There's, there's sometimes the option that you have to serve long because the opponent know exactly that you will serve short. You know, so this it's very important to add in your game in a tactical way. Second is emotionally. Sometimes you say, okay, I don't feel that I can flick this one. And then you say, okay, but if the ball is half long or etc., you cannot put short. So it's very important that you have the ability to push long and then to wait in the passive game because you are not sure and then you are say okay now it's better that i push long i wait in the passive game because this is where i might feel more comfortable in the this period of the match and it's maybe in the period of uh, your career you say okay my 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 attacking game is not so good my combination is not good, good right now it's better that i play in the passive game it's also possible when you are hurt or when you're a little bit sick etc and it's okay this time i will go and play in my passive game you know so that it's very important that you that you have in your in your back that you have this passive game mistake number six do not play hard you spin this is what will give you confidence actually if you spin the ball will go down faster on the table and then will bounce higher after so this is very important when you see all the best players we think like oh my god he's playing so hard etc no 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 he's using spin and it gives security because the ball is going higher over the net and go down faster and seems like they're playing hard but no believe me they use spin so all the time when you have a ball coming at you and you say that you want to finish the ball use spin always extra spin this will give you security you will feel more safe you will make less mistake so all the time use an extra spin yeah. if you have the chance to go and look the best players always look at the curve of the ball always look at the contact that they have in the racket it seems like they touch the ball longer because actually it might be true they touch it a little bit longer because they all the time add an extra grip on their touch so that's very important do not play hard use spin so guys this is the six mistakes that i have noticed 
with young players and semi-pro players and things that I have done also myself and things that I wish that I knew sooner. So again, this is my opinion. Uh, and of course, if you are not agreeing with all the advices that I gave, please comment below. I'm very open for debate and I think that anyway will improve from it. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel. This will mean a lot to me. Take care guys. See you soon.